Okay, we're back with a uh, good old shiny hunting. I thought I was completely and utterly ready, but guess who forgot to get their little counter out? And that's not a euphemism. 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 Oh, that's a great start. How are we words? Anywho, right, let's just double check the counter's working. It should be no reason it doesn't. Yeah, it works. That's fine. Let's take him back down. Alright, let's get on with our usual um, shiny feebass hunting. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. I mean, if you're just joining us, we usually go for, at the moment, 100 Magikarp. So, that's kind of where we usually cut the stream off. So, we'll see what happens. As usual, we're not fighting them because we fought enough. But if it's a feebass, we shall fight. We shall get that chain up. I've been full of a cold this week, so we've taken A time off work and B time off any sort of streaming because I have felt like crap. So we're finally back to it. I think I managed A stream last week and oh, just been tired with work, very tired. So we're very much on the tail end of the cold, a few little sniffles here and there. I knew I say it was a cold, it completely and utterly knackered me out. Like, maybe it was flu, I don't know, but, ooh. Headaches, or throat, all that sort of thing. Not the fun stuff. Not that colds are such or ever fun. Right, let's get the hack out of here on that tutor. I mean, we should quite easily make it to 900 tutor, but uh, Magikarp is our barometer. We are looking after the dog today, so uh, if we do take a break, it will be mostly for that reason. But yeah, let's see if we can get us one of these goddamn shinies on the screen. Preferably Feebas, always preferably Feebas. Checking what the dog's up to. She's on the stairs looking down. People aren't going to be home for a while, but um, yeah, she just prefers them to me. It's like, whatever. She got her bed on my bed, so she's plenty comfortable. She's been fed. She's had a lovely piece of fish. She gets fed better than I bloody do. She's just been out before I started the stream. I was about ready to be like, oh, let's do some stuff. And then she's like, I want to go out. I was like, Fine, we'll take you out. So she's done a little bit of her business. Oh. Yeah, we're still getting a little bit uh, puffy-eyed with this cold. It comes and it goes. So we're also on the fruit sweets and things like that, you know, keeping the knees or passages clear, or as clear as they can be. So the plan for today is stream a bit of this, and then later this evening we shall hopefully be playing some Master League with a certain Spider Goat 44. So I've been Jones in for a bit more Master League. Did spend the morning slash earlier this afternoon catching up on the old rustling. So we did enjoy the rampage buy-in with uh, Brian and Minoru Suzuki. Ooh, that was some good shit. Let me just see what the message is and know what it is. I haven't. I'm nice enough to tell him I am on stream. Because he's like me, just doesn't have the notifications on because, yeah, I can't blame him. Sometimes it's annoying, it's like, okay, somebody's gone live, but I'm busy. And it's like, when it just comes through your phone, and then it goes, they're live, it's like, that's great. I'm glad you told me, but also... Eh, because I only watch so much Twitch at a time. 
but don't let that be any reason why you shouldn't, uh, you know, turn notifications on when I'm on, because I'm erratic. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's Feebas, Feebas. Oh, it's not a shiny one, but it's Feebas. Feebas, yes, it's good stuff. Hello, MC Pink. We got a Feebas on screen. It ain't purpley pink, but it's Feebas nonetheless, and we got to defeat it. Because if we defeat it, we build our little chain up, and we got more likelihood of encountering a shiny Feebas once we encounter it. Oh, thank you for following. Oh, yeah, indeed. So, you got any shiny hunts on yourself? What have we got? What have we got? Shoot all. Yeah, it's a good time in tuning in to see us get at least one Feebas. You know, it might be the one we get for the stream, but... You know, the more Feebas we get, the closer we get. Can't catch a shiny Feebas if you don't catch a Feebas in the first place. Ooh, a nice bond sweet. I like it. Is that in Sun and Moon series, or is it in this gen? Because I can't remember much of this gen. I know they obviously cut the decks in this gen, but I, I can't remember half of what's in it. Ah, sword. Ah, what's that? You're just doing the random encounters or are you going through the Masuda method for the eggs? Encounters nice. Does a uh, bond sweet pop up or is it one of the question mark ones? So I can tell how little I can remember about this game. Not done that much hunting overworld in this, so yeah. Magic Harp, it's all good. Ten percent of the way to our Magic Harp. So we'll see how it goes. There's been I've done at least one stream where we did two hundred. We did start off doing fifty because we had to fight the Magic Harp, build it up. Oh yeah, I play I play Pokemon Go. Oh, <laughs> we played that that game. Yes, been playing since launch. I assume we play Pokemon Go as well, MC Pink or Pinks. Sorry. So Missed the S. Yeah. Oh, round about, uh, Four-ish my end. I will have a look what's outside my location on Pokemon Go. Because you never know, I might get a shiny on stream. Probably won't be the damn Feebas. But, you know, I do like to have a look now and then on Pokemon Go when we're streaming. To see what's outside. It's not going to be very clear because my uh, camera's miles away. But, shh. What's the last shiny you caught in either Go or Sword? I'll have a quick look what mine was in Go. I assume it was probably a Dusk or last weekend. At least it was, at least I think it was on mine, I'll have a look. Oh, 
pop it by recent. Shiggity shiny. Yeah, it was all the dust skulls, and then the one before that was a swablu. Just a random. Ooh, a nice shiny caterpie. That's not bad going, that's not bad. I did ca I've got me a shiny caterpie. I need a one though. Uh, I'm to be fair though, I'm not quite sure what the last shiny I got in this game was. You know, discounting shiny Celebi distribution. It might have been one from one of those uh, dens. It wasn't a dens. You know, the thing they added in the new DLC where you go and fight the legendaries. I cannot remember. Oh, Warcraft. Um... Many, many moons ago, Spider-Goat44 did try to... Well, he let me... It basically set me up with a quick account on there and let me play for a bit. It, it wasn't my jam, to be fair. You know, I, I, I put about an hour in, so... You know, and had a bit of guidance of, like, do this, do that, but... No, it wasn't for me, unfortunately. I assume we're talking about World of... I mean, I think uh, when it comes to multiplayer games, I mean, you know, the MMO, I've not really played many, and it's not that many, I think, take my fancy, but obviously everybody goes, what about a Pokemon one? Why haven't they done that? I mean, that would be cool as sin, let's be fair, but it's Nintendo for a start. Ooh, that's... And, you know, it'd be a devil's own job just doing a basic trade on this game, so let alone what they'd want to do with an MMO. That could be a whole kettle of fish. Take it you play World of Warcraft, is it? So what, there's a stunky outside, let's have a quick look at this stunky, see if it turns into a ditto, let alone a shiny one. Having a catch at least. There, there's a regular old stunky. Oh, let's see what that spinner rack does. Oh, missed that one. No, it's regular boring spinner rack, whatever. Oh, there's another one though. It's regular and boring. Oh well, we'll give it another quarter hour and we'll see what's outside. The thing is, you play go enough at home, you learn roughly what time everything spawns. I don't know if that's a good thing or just really sad. Just more fish and whatever, the, well, turtles as well, I guess, when it comes to tutor. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, we did watch the this week's wrestling. Well, I say this week's. We watched uh, Rampage 
and SmackDown. Minoru Suzuki and uh, Brian. Brian Danielson, should I say? Yeah, that was good stuff. You know, arguably a pay per view match. Just, you know, let's check them on YouTube. I'll take Conti and Santana go. That was enjoyable enough. And Fish and Moriarty, I watched it. As I'm sure it was good. It's just, you know, when you're just like, oh, okay, in some breakfast. Let's carry on with it, you know, checking news and all that. So it was on. We watched it. Watched a good bit of it. It was enjoyable enough. Yeah, you know, when you got um, Suzuki and Daniel Sun to come, it's like, wow, what are we really looking forward to? Do like Rampage in general though usually it's, it's like yeah you get about three good solid matches you know a little bit of a promo I guess here and there maybe a little bit of a catch up on X Y and Z but it's nice tight and compact for the most part. Ah Smackdown was all right thinking about it I mean you had Balor versus Zayn to go to the finals of Crown Jewel I mean You'd have to be pretty damn stupid if you ever thought Zayn was winning that for many reasons. Because he sure as hell ain't going to, you know, Saudi Arabia. But even, you know, just from a, oh, I don't know these things point of view, which is fair enough. I mean, it was always going to be Balor, really. Um, uh, was it? Oh, there was, uh, Selena Vega versus Carmella. Uh, I mean... I kind of like what they did with the, the fact that, you know, they've been knocking about together recently. So, Selena was like, yeah, oh yeah, you can totally trust me not to hit you in the face and stuff. You don't need your mask. And then, of course, they extended it by Selena. I'm not going to lie, I didn't watch it all intently. But I think she must have struck the face or went for it. So, obviously, Mella went out. It was like, oh, yeah, I know. Let's get the mask. Good idea, you know. And I was like, oh, oh no, Liv's there and she's not letting her have the mask. So that extends that a bit. I mean, I'm still struggling to kind of care about that. It's sometimes it's just, because you see me week in, week out, you feel like you've seen it too much. That I suppose, you know, I'll extend that and hopefully have a nice blow off. Maybe a mask on a pole match, who knows. Uh, street Profits versus Usos in a Street Fight. I enjoyed that. I mean, Montez Ford. Jesus Christ, Montez Ford is amazing, but... Gotta be a future single star there. Easily. Just so goddamn charismatic. And the height he gets on... Just off those top ropes and... Oh, he doesn't even need to come off the damn top ropes. He went over the bloody turn back on the outside. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. It's good. Oh. Yeah. Very high on Ford. Ah, uh, what else did we have? Oh, we had that. More of a segment and a match. I mean, I guess it technically counts as a match. We had Naomi versus Baszler and... I can see her face. Sonya Deville, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. So that was a... Uh, ah, that was what it was. You know, maybe we get uh, Shayna versus Naomi in general. That would be a good show. But I do kind of want to see Shayna just go on a tear now. You know, maybe win the Queen's Crown. She'll be a nice challenger for whoever when is the SmackDown champ at the time. And just have her absolutely destroy him. God damn it, just just do that. Has she, has she actually been women's champion while she's been on the main roster? Honestly, couldn't tell you offhand. Oh, I gotta look that up. Honestly, can't remember.
But let's get another Pokemon while we're in the middle of looking this up. Let's make sure we also count it. <clears throat> no, she has not been women's champion since she's been on the main roster. That that doesn't sit well with me. Really doesn't. But maybe it just means now that she's on SmackDown, she might be the one to take the title from whoever has it. Maybe Charlotte. That would be a big, big cap and a feather if A, she actually takes it from Charlotte and B, holds it for a good while. Not saying she has to go on a massive tear like she did in NXT, but I wouldn't be against it. I also can't believe how badly they dropped the ball with uh, Asuka versus Shayna Baszler feud on Raw. I mean, that would just be amazing. I mean, maybe we get it one day, but it'd be a shame if we don't get it proper one day. Anyway. So yeah, we had that. Um, what else? There was Becky versus Sasha. That was a good match. You know, Beasley was at uh, Beasley. Belair was at ringside. No, oh, no, back. So that was pretty good. And then as soon as that was over, it was like clear the damn ring, clear the damn ring. We got no commercials. We got 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 kept Brock and uh, Roman in for the contract signing. So we got Adam Pearce just shouting at the at the crew. It's like get it in there, get it in there. Everybody else get out. And Pat McAfee apparently forgetting they had no commercials. I like Pat McAfee. He's got a good energy and he honestly seems like he's having fun. And you know what? He makes Michael Cole bearable. It actually seems like Michael Cole is enjoying himself and not just, you know, having to run through all the motions he gets in his headset. They make a good team, I will say. Um, there was a happy talk segment with Corbin and blah, whatever. I mean, I skipped a little bit of that to the point where I was like, oh, look, Nakamura's out and there's Boogs. Okay, that's kind of fun. And then the Prophets came out at the same time. Well, but, well, a little bit after, but Boogs and Nakamura were there, so they played the Prophets. So it was like, ah, oh, cool. But there isn't anything going on with the IC title, is there? I mean, are they going to do some sort of Corbin Nakamura feud again this time for the IC title as opposed to the bloody crown Ugh. that's why I saw something out the corner of my eye it was a reflection of something in my mouth so I thought it was the dog doing up to no good speaking of which I wonder why I wasn't uh, getting anything. I had to actually stick my rod in there. Strange that, isn't it? Dogs now look at me like I shit no cornflakes. Bear with me, she wants to come on my lap. Okay, do me a favour, just don't knock the mic mic stand. Come on, Ant. Yeah. Right. Let me get comfortable, and then she might get comfortable. Because, you know. Heaven forbid I'd just be able to sit by myself, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dog, you do like to make me paranoid. You should, you know, stare out into the doorway. It's like, well, I'm home alone. 
Well, I hope you're a comfortable dog, because I'm really not that comfortable. Um, what else was it? Oh, and then it was obviously the contract signing, which was... It was a quick little thing. It was the whole... Was it Roman was like, look at the contract, Paul. Paul was like, it's all good. That's what you asked for. And then Brock just signs the paper. Not not just, you know, without even looking. He's just like, I'm signing it. And then Roman's like, you dumb, boy. You dumb. And Brock's like, nah, mate. Add my uh, advisor. What? Sorry, my advocate, Paul Heyman. Look it over this morning. Oh. Now the big question is, did he or didn't he? Is it just mind games from Brock? So that was the wrestling I watched. Oh, I'm at a loss with a... What I have and haven't counted on this, as I always say, they're never 100% accurate. Except the, for the Feebus one, I'm trying to make, keep that one accurate because, you know, it's kind of important. But I always think they're going to be under these counters as opposed to over. I'm sure I've been intending to change the style of my character for a while, but I can't remember when. Or maybe we'll do it one day. I think I did say about after every 500, but that's long gone. So what? Once we've hit 30 Magic Up, we'll see what Pokemon are outside on Pokemon Go. Ah, it's fine getting these few more tutors. Takes till about five past seven minutes past for them all to spawn outside, really, so I'm not worried. The arm on my chair has now been taken up by a dog. Which, you know, that's nice. It's not like I like to use it. Oh, we're back on the magic art train then. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh, I might, may take a look at our half-time football scores as well soon. See how badly my Super 6 is doing. Do you like to play a bit of the Super 6? Well, say a bit of the Super 6. Do, do you like to play Super 6? We've not been doing very well lately. And usually, in probably around 95% of the time, I do like to put a cheeky £1 bet on the Super 6. You know, just win, lose or draw results. Well, it's come in about maybe three times my accumulator. I think the lowest one I had was... Uh, on a boxing day it was all very oh look it's kind of obvious these teams should win and obviously you go with that because you know you want to score the points so we got about 20 odd quid on a one pound bet we've had about nearly 60 off one as well so i was quite happy with that but yeah always you know if you're gambling do it responsibly if you're struggling with it you know, if it's affecting you, seek help, you know, find your relevant numbers and contact contacts because, you know, it can be a problem for people. So gamble responsibly and if, you can't, and if you're struggling, go find the relevant numbers, etc, etc. Right, let's have a look what's uh, outside, is it? <clears throat> okay, we have a Mistrevious. That looks very plane from here and I've just accidentally caught that magic card but don't make any difference that's what happens when you don't pay attention fine whatever magic card blah 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 good for you magic card good for you uh, next up is a Ralts. that looks very regular to me again it is Let's use a berry and catch it. Okay, we need to add that one on. Not very good at a smock task in Malarkey. And it's chewed off. What's next? It's a ghastly. Ah, uh, looks like a regular ghastly from what I can see. It is. What else have we got there? Yeah, we got spinner rack. Ah, oh, it's a green spinner rack. That does us no favours. Boo! Boo earns. Right, well, let's have a look at this Super 6 malarkey. So far, oh, so far there's a lot of nil nails, but that doesn't hurt me. Just means I'm not currently winning them. But the only one that's uh, got me any points so far is the Man City game. So obviously, should you not want to know any current scores, I mean. Just stop listening and I will, I'll tell you what. While I got my phone like, well, while I got my phone in my hand for the moment, you know I'll have scores. When I put it down, that's when we're not doing it anymore. So we got, let's go through my predictions and then the current scores. That's the V Man U. I put 1-2 to United. It's 1-0. Man City versus Burnley. I put 4-0. It's 1-0. I got Villa 3-0 against Wolverhampton, currently 0-0. Southampton v Leeds, 2-1 to Leeds I put, 0-0. Norwich v Brighton, 3-0 to Brighton, 0-0. Nil -nil. 
And Sheffield United versus Stoke. I put 1-0 to Stoke and 0-0. Oh my god. That's the scores, Dan. Very exciting. I ain't going to be putting anybody out of a job anytime soon, are we? I did like it when it used to be on the video printer. It'd be like... Well, let's say it was the Man United Ipswich game. That infamous one. Or perhaps famous, if you will. You know, when I read it, it's like, I don't know, say, Newcastle United, 1, Shepherd Wednesday, 0, Liverpool, 3, Tottenham Hotspur, 4, Manchester United, 9, Ipswich, 0. It's like, it's 9 nil, mate. Give, give it a little bit. I suppose it's got to be impartial, but it's, it's 9 nil. How are you not surprised? Kind of tempted to take a just a little break to go do a coffee at a big 50 match cup. Hope nobody minds. Yeah, it should only take me a few minutes. Oh, I quite fancy a coffee. So, yeah, break at 50 match cups, do me a coffee. Unless, of course, we still don't get a showing review burst. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it should happen one day. Keep plugging away. It's pretty much just a lot of each time. You know, there's only so much I can do to improve my odds. Just the way I got the controller, it's not exactly as accurate as it could be. Uh, past you two days I've been playing a bit of Metroid Fusion. I thought, ooh, I quite fancy playing a bit of Metroid Fusion. So, first off, we dug the cart out and stuck it through the Game Boy player. So I could play it on the TV. I was like, ah, all well and good, but the GameCube controller wasn't doing much for me. At least, you know, in terms of the D-pad, it was like, ugh. Did look to see if I could find my uh, PS2 to GameCube adapter, but I don't know why I put that. If I had the original Xbox set up, then I could, and somehow I was able to play it on that. I mean, that's how, I guess for an emulator I could. I could have used the adapter to stick a PS2 controller into the Xbox to play a Game Boy Advance game on an emulator on my TV. But that's just convoluted. So then after that, we tried our actual DS, but I got a bit of a clicky, bit of a stuck left D pad. So that kind of sucked. And then I went to my SP. I was like, Jesus Christ, how did I actually play things on it before? It's so dark. So I got the 001 model, as opposed to the 101 with the fancy backlight. So then we just decided to emulate it because it was easier. But I also keep forgetting how badly I suck at Metroid. Up to whatever the boss is that that big snake looking thing that just shoots across the screen and then you're like ow this hurts I 
I tried hanging out in the top right and it kind of works to a point but I keep getting my butt kicked. It's like I'll beat it down and then I just don't have enough health left to beat whatever the other thing is that comes at the end. You know the bit that's got your suit upgrade in it. See how I suck at Metroid. Although I enjoy, do I still enjoy playing it. I think I made it to near enough the end of Zero Mission, but I just couldn't beat the boss. As for the rest of my week, it's pretty much just me a case of ow, oh, things hurt, ow, 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 blow my nose, ow, oh, things hurt. Have some cough medicine, have some fruit lozenges, have some fruit sweets, ow, 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 I'm tired. I think we've had a good mix of uh, Chutland, Chutland Magic Arp so far. Yeah, I wouldn't oppose, be opposed to getting a shiny Chutel as usual. Because we've not got one and, you know, we've had a load of shiny Magic Arp, so it's like, there. Yeah. I think we're going to read this uh, 900 tutor quite, quite easily. Well, it looks like an Aracuda slash Barracuda, whatever it is. It's going to want to join the party in a minute, so we'll, we'll, let, we'll let it join it. Then we we'll just beat the crap out of it as well. Oh no, it's going back. What do you reckon? 885 before we hit 250. Well, 885 before we hit 1250 Magic Harp.
Oh, bear with me, what she got up for? Let me go have a look what's happening. I'll tell you what, we're close, but let's just take a break because she's moaning about to some. Oh, right, we forgot to uh, unmute our mic. My bad. So, yeah, it turns out it was just an Avon book coming through the door. You know, dog got real excited. I don't know what she wants out of there, but we'll have to find out. We'll have to ask her. I was like, well, do you want this lipstick? She's like, mm, nah. Do you want the perfume? Mm, maybe. At least we've had time to make a start on our coffee. So, we got it brewing to the side in the cafetiere. So we'll plunge that in a minute and pour ourselves a nice hot co cup of coffee. Oh yeah. I suppose the thing is, once we get a shiny, we'll have to think of a nickname for it. I know I got it... Uh, Currently set to not nickname them because by god I could not be bothered to go through that screen each and every time when you're just catching stuff for decks. So I suppose we'll have to, you know, give it a nickname the other way. So at least the dog's now led on my bed instead of the arm on my chair, which is nice. There we go, now we've hit the 1250. Might have to start putting some thought into what I want for tea later. I think we're going to do takeaway because I really can't be asked to deal with anything. And we did make a really nice stew yesterday, so there's some of that left over if I so choose. But it was very handy earlier this week when I was like, I don't know what I want. And guess what I found in the freezer? Some stew. So we will probably freeze the two lots we got in there. But the big question is, what to have for tea tonight? So we had stew last night and we had pizza on Thursday. Twelve fifty five we're sort our coffee out. Okay. I guess 888 tutors does not translate into a shiny tutor.
Ooh, one more. Then we sort our coffee out. You've been brewing nicely. Magic up, I want my um, coffee. Might still be too hot to drink, but I want to pour it, damn it. Plunged it, so we're gonna pour it in a moment. Right, while well, that does things. See how hot it is. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. Oh, but that's good coffee. Oh, we like the coffee. And just so everybody knows if it ever comes up, we take our coffee black. No milk, no sugar. Just as black as my damn heart. We had a brain fart there. Not even a coffee could save us from that. Still got a tiny little bit of the sniffles. So, you know, right. Go on, be a few bass, be a few bass, be a few bass. Be a good few bass. No, you're a magic carp. Okay, fine, whatever. Would it have helped if I Bluetoothed the mic into the switch and asked it for a few bass? No? Oh, okay, fine, whatever. More brain farts. Now, not that I'd ever advise it because you should drink responsibility. Bloody hell. How do I fail at words so badly? Not that I'd ever advise it because you should drink responsibly, but I believe it would be possible to make a drinking game out of this shiny hunting. You know, say. 
every 10 Magikarp you do a finger, every 10 Tutor you do two, and every time there's a Feebas you finish your drink. And if there's a shiny, well, I don't know what you do on a shiny. <clears throat> so yeah, one finger for every 10 magic up, two fingers for every 10 tutor, and then down your drink for a, a Feebas. And then if there's a shiny magic up or shoot, I don't know. Down your drink again. Well, I suppose pour yourself a fresh one and down that. And as for a shiny Feebas, well, I guess you down your drink and then pour yourself a fresh one and down that. But only if you feel okay to do so and you drink responsibly. Not that that's very responsible. But should you choose to do so, as a responsible adult that knows how to handle their drink and does not drink to excess even though it's me encourage drinking to excess I suppose the thing is, if I ever only do up to, what, 100 magic at a time, I mean you're drinking 10 fingers, and then let's say we get 80 tutor, which is probably a bit high, and you're doing another 16, so that's 26 fingers, and then so you down the drink on a 1 fee bass, that's not bad. Might be something to do with, you know, you know, obviously nothing too strong. Maybe a lot, maybe some lagers. Lagers or similar strength ciders, I think. <clears throat> oh, it's like the Royal Rumble drinking. Oh, that's a whole thing. You should try and stick to something about four percent, five percent tops. Because by God, you drink a lot. For anyone that don't know what a Royal Rumble, well, let's at least explain what a Royal Rumble is. Well, we still, you know, there's, now there's the men's and the women's, but I'm going to explain it as the men's, because that's when I started, and there's been many more. Uh, so, it's a 30-man Royal Rumble for the most part, you get the odd exceptions with the 41 and the 51. Uh, you drink for every person that comes down, so the first two enter, you know, you drink for them, and then roughly, depending on the Rumble, every 90 minutes to two, sorry, 90 seconds to two minutes, another participant c comes in. You drink for them, and participants also get eliminated over the top rope, so you drink for everyone eliminated. And then you also pick your designated guy, and then you do double for them. So when they come out, you drink double. If they eliminate somebody, you drink double. And if they win the damn thing, then well, you're down in your drink. And you might think, well, that's easy, there's only 30 and you... You're not wrong, but it's quite easy to fall behind and say, oh, I need to go pee. Okay, so in the time you've taken to go pee, let's say you've gone as soon as somebody's come in. You know, you've taken your quick drink. In that time, you know, let's say, it's, let's say you're going to take two minutes up, down the stairs, whatever. In that time, somebody else can come out. And then at least one person can be eliminated, if not more. And then if it ends up being your guy who's come down and done some business, then well... You doubled up on that. So all it takes is a little lull in the lull in your drink, and then you're like, oh well, we owe so much. 
you know, go up to the fridge, get a new can. Oh, somebody's been eliminated, okay. Now you got to pour your drink, now somebody else comes in. And of course, in recent years, there's been the women's run, but you, so you're drinking for that one as well. So do that. So do a rumble times two. And that's all over the course of what? Three-ish hour pay-per-view? Three to four hours? And of course when you're doing it live, you're not starting here till about one o'clock. <laughs> I think maybe last year I might have failed one. I think. I can't remember, I'll have to consult with Mike if I did fail or not. But I think I may have actually just tapped it, it was like, no. It's a sign of getting old. Alright, let me top up my coffee with the last sort of dregs, and I do mean dregs. So draggy, I can barely see what's in there. Was it even worth it? <coughs> right, where are we at? Run away. Oh, I do like your coffee. I've just slunk right behind this microphone. I suppose I can move it there. Because, you know, that's what we need to see is more of my... More of me mug. Yeah, we're going to hit these 900 tutors quite easy. scores in about 10 minutes. I should take us to full time. See how badly the wheels have come off. Because, you know, you check it with about 10, 5 minutes to go to 90 minutes. Oh, things are doing well. You're not doing bad. You know, you maybe got 4 or 5 games going your way. 10 minutes later, it's like, oh, okay, now we've got like 4 points if you're lucky. Super 6, uh, 2 points for the correct win-loss draw thing, and then five if, 5 if you get the actual score right.
Uh, let's see what my phone's going to tell me. Probably something, something. There's a special on a half five game of somebody to score three or more shots. Yeah, Lukaku and Tony are top scorers for the clubs. Yeah, Lukaku two plus shots on target and Tony one plus shot on target was two to one. Now four to one. I'm saying bad to be fair. Uh, maybe we'll watch the half five game and might put a bet on it. But yes, we always do it responsibly. We don't don't put big amounts on because good god, you know, quid here or there. But only because I can actually afford it. If you can't afford it, don't do it. Uh, I don't know if I picked up on the stream, but there we are. I feel better for it, though. Sounds like uh, there's been a goal in the Leicester and Man United game. And it sounds like, and if you don't want to hear it, you know, look away now. I'm um, actually, you know, stop listening. So while my hand's up, I'm going to tell you what's just happened. It looks as though James Vardy has scored for Leicester City. Which means, it, and based on the message my friend said, he says, I don't mind if, you know, it means that they beat United. So I can only guess it's now 2-1 to Leicester City. But he said, you don't mind if Vardy scores because Vardy's in my fantasy football team. And I'm... So that means I get some nice points of Vardy scoring. But also means that my prediction of Man City... Be, uh, sorry, Man United being beating Leicester City is wrong. But then again, things can always change in the next few minutes. But yeah, I don't think that's coming in. I reckon we're, well, yeah, we're easily going to make 910 shoot. I reckon 915 before it was all said and done. Just people outside on the street, you can hear. 
Nobody at the door, so whatever. Oh, I'll go check it out for my own peace of mind. Oh well, I'll find out now. Uh, chance would be a fine thing if my earphones would reconnect. Oh well, let's sort this bit out anyway. Ah, the earphones are playing silly buggers. Ah, oh, there we go, we're back. Right, back on our magic arps. Ooh. Right. Yeah, time to check the football scores real soon. Well, I suppose I can do it a bit by attempt to read them out in that very monotone voice. In a very BBC, almost monotone voice. Yeah, let's start loading Super 6, see how badly the wheels have come off. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna right. I'm gonna go through the football scores. So while the hands up, we're going through them, and this is currently the latest: Leicester City four, Manchester United two, Manchester City two, Burnley nil. That is a full-time result. This is the latest: Aston Villa two, Wolverhampton two, full-time. Southampton one. Leeds United, nil. Four, these are both full-time coming up. Norwich, nil. Brighton and Hove Albion, nil. Sheffield United, nil. Sorry, I am wrong. That was my prediction. Sheffield United, two. Stoke City, one. So, yeah, we all, uh, yeah, we all just fell off that. Absolutely fell off. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, let's get back to predicting the, you know, League 2, because I'm still shit at that. I'm having an absolute mare this season on Super 6. Be interested to see who scored for Leicester. I know Vardy's got, well, I know Vardy's got at least one, so there's that.
you know, I'm pretty sure it's only Spider Goat listening to this, and he don't give a shit about him. And that's if he's even listening, he might be watching it like I watch half his streams. You know, we pay attention, you know, we interact a bit. But, you know, I usually have it on mute, as he well knows. I'm now, I'm watching him, giving him the numbers, that's what he likes. You know, it's a nice thing to do, and we do pop on every now and then, see how he's doing. But we've got other things to do as well, unfortunately. Oh, we're going to be on for 280. I say 280, you know what I mean. 1280, 280, blah, blah, blah. Dogs keep them watch at the top of the stairs. Well, that was a quick bite. <coughs> oh. Bear with me. Yeah, I still got a bit of that cough. Although, to be fair with this cold, I've not had that much of a cough. Which has been nice. Felt a bit chesty, but it's not been much of a cough, so that's been something. It's uh, just absolutely knackered me out. You know what? 911 tutors are just a joke. Alright, let me move my mouse off the dog's bed a minute, just so I should probably go. Oh, like, there's a mouse, I'm gonna twat that and mess something up. It's almost time to check the Pokemon Go. It's rolled back around already. Uh, we'll pop this uh, stream up on YouTube later. We will edit out the little coffee break. So YouTube is Bensif, B-E-N-C-I-F, or one damn word. Somebody's got Bensif or one word on uh, Twitch, so I'm 
obviously got the underscore on this one, so it's like whatever. Yeah, pretty much anywhere else it's all Bensif, just one word. If it doesn't look like it's me on something, then it's probably not. So I got no Instagram or anything like that. Isn't that exciting news to know? I'm looking forward to our Master League stream later, just so we can have a uh, hit some more cracking passes in or receive some from our passing god that is Valbuena. Because by God, served up on a plate from the 16 year I think it's 16 year old reincarnation of Valbuena. Passing is unreal. You know what, I think maybe at some point I should try and put, you know, YouTube link just on screen somewhere. Just be like, look, we do the YouTube's twos. Ah, uh, maybe something to think about. We'll do Twitter, but that's just currently me tweeting out saying I'm streaming. Look, don't think I've properly interacted with Twitter and, well, I think we've maybe sent about six actual tweets in the space of about two years lately you know like actually get off my button tweet something as opposed to here's an automated tweet that says I am streaming ha 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 quite well on these shootouts today. Up that number. Not that it really means anything. You know what I'm saying? I have encountered this number of tutors. Well, tutor. Oh, 12 more to go. Oh, for just a hundred match cap, this has been a very long stream. I know we had coffee break, but still. Oh, I suppose we've been messing about looking at football scores and looking at Pokemon Go. There's still a bit more Pokemon to go as well. Hey, I said Reaper, you'd... Join us on the tail end of this, but it's always nice to nice to have people join. We do dig. Uh, as you can probably tell, we are hunting that damn shiny Feebas with a 1% encounter rate. We got the old shiny charm, so you know. At least that's slightly better odds. We just gotta get a Feebas in the first place. How you doing, Acid Reaper? How you doing?
Ah, uh, we're not bad ourselves. We're very much on the tail end of a cold. So it's been quite a nasty cold, not just for six. We've been very tired, taking some time off work. Rick, so I was in no shape to go in. But yeah, we're very much on the mend now. A little bit, a little bit cold just left, so we're just seeing that bit off. I'll just give you a quick rundown of what, you know, obviously, like I said, we're doing the shiny hunting on this. We're also failing to reel our line in at the right time, of course. Uh, but most of these shiny hunting streams, I usually aim for, well, obviously aim to catch a shiny Feebas, that's the main aim. Uh, but in terms of the length of it, we aim for, you know, 100 Magikarp a stream. Just so I feel that's a very nice, sort of tangible goal for a stream. So, uh, as you can see, we've up to 1289 now so i'm doing it in obviously in chunks of 100 so once we hit 1300 that'll be us about done for the stream but you know we've still got a bit to go so i hope you enjoy what you what we're doing you've been doing any shiny hunts yourself Nice. Yeah, I like, like the living decks. I've been working on that for a while on mine, or oh, previous gens, and so we got something on home there. But yeah, let's go. I quite like that you can see them in the overworld and on Let's Go. And I actually enjoyed that game way more than I thought it would. Because I got it, it was like, oh, okay, Sword and Shield's coming out, let's get a switch in August just before it. And it was like, well, Let's Go is like a tenner with it. I was like, cool. Uh, so what's your current hunt for the, on your living decks, or is it just whatever comes along on whatever route you're on? Ooh, second Drowsy, that's not bad. I can't remember what route Drowsy's on, but... Um, I, do, I do like Kent in the Lapras as well. Lapras is really cool to get. I think I picked up a shiny Lapras in Let's Go. Maybe it was one that got away from me, I can't remember. Yeah, I kind of like the Let's Go hunting method of cheap. You know, get your chain of 30, usually do it with the Chansey, I think I do, I can't remember why, but yeah, usually chain some Chansey and then go a hunting. And like I said, it's nice that they appear on screen, so you're like, ooh, I can go for that. Did you catch any shinies on your first playthrough of it? Ooh, nice shiny Charizard first playthrough. Ooh, that is that's pretty sweet to be fair. I got very lucky on my first playthrough of it. Uh Viridian Forest. There's like, oh look, there's a shiny bell sprout. Oh, okay. You know, I'm like not very far into the game, but there, yeah, let's take a shiny bell sprout. And then in Lavender Tower, oh guess what? There's a shiny ghastly. Well, aren't you so kind, game? But yeah, it's just generally so hyped just getting a random shiny it's like oh okay just playing through it's cool but yeah shane charizard oof that is that's some good stuff
How many Magikarp we got to go? We got six more Magikarp left to go. I will say on Sword and Shield, I didn't get a... Uh, did we set something? Oh, okay, that's cool. On the Sleeping Snorlax. Uh, didn't even occur to me that it could be shiny offhand. That's a nice idea to do that. Yeah, I, I dig some soft resetting. You know, done a lot of soft resetting on the handhelds mainly. But yeah, it's a really cool one to get because it'll obviously tell you that, you know, what route you caught it on. Yeah, I do like the idea of going for, you know, a certain shiny from somewhere. Instead of just being like, oh, look, I got this shiny Snorlax, which is cool and all, but it's like, oh, which one did you get? Yeah, oh, I got the sleeping one. Wow, that is, that's damn impressive getting the legendary birds in one day. <coughs> I don't think, I think I might have maybe caught all the legendary birds in the game, but not, not the shiny ones. I can't remember, to be honest. Or maybe, I, I don't know. All I know is I remember on Let's Go, I've not got the charm. I think I've purposely decided not to get the charm. I know I've not caught Mewtwo on it, and I've not uploaded one from Pokemon Go. But yeah, that was dead impressive, just, you know, getting one legendary bird shiny in one day, let alone three of them. But then again, uh, were, they, were they the static encounters, or were they just... Because I know they can sort of, well, not quite roam, but spawn even after you've caught them, which is really cool to me. Oh, that's good. Less than 400 from you two. That was pretty damn impressive for less than 400. I think my quickest attempt was 10 soft resets. I think it was for either Kyrem or Reshiram on Oras. I was like 10, I was like, bloody hell, yeah, okay. But I think I did. Did I do full odds? Um, I think I might have done full odds hunting for Shiny ho on Heart Gold. That was something. Oof. Uh, over 17,000. Boom, that is our 1300 Magikarp. Ah, uh, spawning birds. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I don't think I've actually seen... Well, I think because maybe... I don't think I've done the birds on Let's Go. So if I've not caught them, they're obviously not going to spawn. But I can't honestly remember. But all I know is I've not seen any of the birds spawn. But it could be because I've not caught the birds. But yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, let's end this stream by doing a little bit of hunting on Pokemon Go. So... We got a Venonat out there. What's Venonat going to give us? That looks regular to me because I can't really see it very well on stream. I know you can't really either. Oh, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I do stream very irregularly. That's about the best way to phrase it. But we are planning a bit of Mass League with Spider Goat 44 later. Uh, previous streams are up on YouTube. It's all it's Ben Sif, all one word, B N C I F. So if you want to check out any of them, this will be going up there anyway at some point. So, oh, I forgot to say it's just a regular Auburn shoe put. Let's have a look at the last bit. We got a Venonat out there. It's regular. And the last bit I'm going to do is this Stunky, which could be a shiny Ditto. How it could be a Ditto and then a shiny. So let's see if we can catch it. What's it going to do? Wait for the camera to adjust. 
Uh, recording, recording. It's just a stun key. Right. Well, I am going to get the heck out of there. And thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm sure you press the buttons that let you know when I'm streaming next. So without further ado, bye.